Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with my last layout that I completed at my retreat or scrapbooking weekend that I went to back in April. This is the last video. So on Thursday, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a real time video and actually scrap the a layout real time and then post it that way. I'm going to try and get that done tomorrow for Thursday. I was going to try to get it done today, but I just ran out of time. So I decided to use my last video. So this is a page kit that I had put together, not even for this last uh, scrapbooking retreat. It was for the one before that or the one before that. So it was, or it was either for January or October. Like it's been sitting there for a while, but that's the nice thing about having page kits that are all ready to go is, you know, whenever you're ready to use them, it's still all there. I didn't have to do anything, you know, specific to it. I just grabbed that page kit and thought, well, maybe this time I'll get it scrapped. It had a ton of photos in there and it was of uh, when my daughter was trying out her wedding dress, like trying to find the wedding dress. So the title for this is going to be Say Yes to the Dress. And just so you know, none of the dresses that are in the picture are ones that she said yes to the dress to. What I'm going to do is the page that's going to be next to this one is going to be, you know, once she has her, you know, she gets married, then I'll put pictures of her wedding dress on the other page. So it'll be side by side and I'll say something to the effect of that in the journaling on this page that the you know, the dress that she said yes to is actually on the other page. Actually, when I got at the retreat, I think this was one of the first layouts I completed. And um, then with the leftovers that I had left with this page, I made another page and I've already uploaded that. Now, are you surprised that I was ripping photos off the background? Not me. <laughs> I seem to always be ripping stuff up and you know, once you glue it back down, you can't really tell anyway, so that's all good. And another thing that I had brought with me at my retreat was I had brought my doilies because I used to put a doily on everything. Every page that I completed had a doily. And then in the last year or so, maybe even longer, I stopped putting doilies on my layout. So uh, when I went to the retreat, I said, I'm bringing my big pack of doilies. These are all doilies from Studio Calico. You used to be able to buy them like, I think it was like 10 for a dollar. So when I was a Studio Calico member, I used to almost every month buy two or three packages of the, their doilies so that I would end up with a whole bunch of them because I love them that much. And so I have a big stack of them, but they've been sitting there unused. So it's time to start using them. So I'm going to use the light polka dot background uh, or yeah, background as my background and the other polka dot, which is dark pink with white polka dots. I'm going to use it to map my photos, which I end up taking four, four by four photos. And then I take a little strip about three quarters of an inch and I put it at the top and the bottom of the layout and I thought it'd be the perfect place to then add this beautiful lace and that lace came in a freckled fawn um, kit. I used to get the freckled fawn kit every month. I did it for close to I'd say two years and I have a ton of embellishments and I decided to kind of let it go for a little bit and use the stuff that I have, use the stuff that is in my craft room. And then if I ever feel that my embellishments are starting to dwindle, then maybe I'll start up, you, you know, getting the freckled fawn again. So when I put this page kit together, I knew that this page was going to say, say yes to the dress. So on some wax paper, I had taken some pink rubber alphas, some thickers, and some tiny pink alphas, just some square alphas. I'm not really sure. I think it was from a big 12 by 12 sheet that came in some kind of uh, collection pack. And I wrote out, say yes to the dress. Now I didn't have enough S's, so I took the number eight and I'm just gonna cut it 
uh, strategically so that it makes an S. So I'm going to end up putting that doily to the left of the photos and it's time to start just gluing everything down. So first I'm going to glue that doily down and I didn't even bother cutting it down. Just like I said, I just have so many. I think I have probably over a hundred of those doilies. So I'll, I'll be fine even if I don't cut it in half. And where that S is going to be a little different because it was actually an eight. I decide not to put it within the word yes, but in the word dress, because I figured if it looked a little different, it's less likely to show up in the middle of a word than in a very, and in a, you know, in a bigger word than in a smaller word. And I'm going to put that title right underneath that photo cluster. And uh, yes is in the bigger alphas and so is dress and the rest of the little sentence is just using those tiny um, rectangle stickers that are in pink and white. So while I'm finishing that off, I'm going to make a few embellishment clusters, you know, where the doily is and um, I'm just taking the embellishments that I had put with this page kit and I'm trying to see exactly where that I could put them on the layout and I even had some little potty little girls and I'm going to end up using that. I remember that's another thing that I used to put on almost every layout is was either a little potty boy um, or the little potty girl and I haven't used those in a while so that was another thing that I ended up bringing with me so that I could use it. I just love those flamingos. Um, I mean, it has nothing to do about weddings, but I, I just thought it was just gorgeous on this layout. So I decided to add it to this layout. And while I'm doing that, I just want to let you know, um, I didn't upload a video last Thursday and it was because I tweaked my back. I couldn't even sit down. And I just thought that I'd let you know, cause I had a few people, you know, message me and ask me if I was okay. And that's what happened. And you'll never guess how I did that. My son's graduation was on Thursday night. He finished his first um, part of his course and they get a diploma. And then next year they'll get another certificate or this time he got a certificate. Next year he's going to get a diploma. And um, so we went to his graduation and I put these little almost like slip on shoes that had a little bit of a heel and I'm really you know, like a jeans and sneakers girl. So as soon as I put those shoes on, it totally tweaked my back, like so bad. <laughs> I had to have a heating pad on it for, you know, three or four days. Now I went to the massage therapist today and she kind of helped me put it back the way it's supposed to be. And she said, you know, absolutely. If it's a pair of shoes that you're not used to, and especially with a little heel, it'll totally throw off your back. So that's what happened. I basically spent most of the weekend um, in bed with a heat pad. Super stubborn though. I still went walking every day. Uh, we would walk for a little bit and then I would stop and like stretch my back and then I would come home and put the heating pad to it because <laughs> it was in pain. But it's much, much better now. And the walking, you know, it did help. It did stretch it out. It's just when we were walking, it was a little painful. But I've been waiting for a year to be able to walk. So I wasn't going to stop walking just because my back was a little sore. <laughs> but that's what happened. And um, also, I just want to let you know, my new class is still on sale till, I was going to say February. No, <laughs> July 16th. So if, if you're interested in that, it is a two-page spread class. At the end of that specific 10 page, we ended up putting 83 photos on the layouts. And then there's an extra four um, pages that are going to be released in the next week. And that's going to add another, you know, 16 to 20 photos. So it's going to be over 100 photos that you can get into albums. So if you know, if you have any vacation photos or any kind of photos that you um, have a lot of so it can be at the beach at at the park on vacation it's nice to be able to do some double page spreads in our albums 
I'll have a link in the description box below to my website where you can find all my classes. And that's it. That's going to complete this layout. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.